Hello, it's gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. I'm going to take a look at the dollar versus a Swiss franc. Today's date is June 6, 2024. Let's get started. I'm going to look at the uh, daily chart in this analysis. Uh, and uh, if you take a look at the daily chart, uh, since the end of December to uh, this uh, May, early May, as a matter of fact, the price moved sharply to the upside here, trended to the upside. That was uh, helped by the... Uh, uh, Swiss National Bank's uh, cut in interest rates, the price cut in interest rates that took place on this day right here. The price moved uh, higher off of that that uh, cut and trended to the upside, reaching our high price in early May. That since then, the price has rotated back to the downside. Now that move to the downside has now seen the price uh, extend down back to the 100 and 200 day moving average. The price also moved back to that uh, the price prices that existed right prior to the interest rate cut back here in the month of March. So a full retracement of the move to the upside and a full re retracement back to what was a uh, key moving averages, including the 100 day moving average at uh, 0.89358 and the 200 day moving average at 0 0.884. Uh, uh, also near that level is the 38.2% retracement of this move to the upside. That move to the upside, 38.2, comes in at 0 0.8883. And you can see uh, off the daily chart that the low price uh, for the week reached down right to that 38.2% retracement, just below the 200-day moving average and bounced off of that level. So what am I saying? What am I, well, I'm saying that there is a lot of uh, resistance or interest, I should say, uh, in this area right here. On the top side, if the price were to move above the 100-day moving average and stay above that level, the bias would shift more to the upside again. This would be looked at as just a normal correction and what was a bullish move to the upside here. Now, if the price were to move, uh, however, below the 200-day moving average, below the 38.2% retracement, that would change the story for the dollar versus Swiss and tilt the bias more in favor of the sellers. So in trading, uh, when, you, when, you, um, when we look at the market, we all want, want to uh, understand what the key levels are right now that are going to turn the bias either more to the upside or more to the downside. It's clear from this daily chart what the key levels are. 38.2 and 200-day moving average on the downside, 100-day moving average on the top side. Uh, if we break either to the upside or downside, look for momentum on the break to confirm those breaks. That's my technical look at the dollar versus Swiss. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.